Well, like most kids who grew up in the 60s, see, I had these dreams that if I could just play the guitar, I could be like Phil Oakes or Bob Dylan or one of those people, or maybe even play in a rock and roll band. In the end, I think I finally learned one chord. See if I can find it. <laughs> and clearly forgot it. However, rock and roll isn't necessarily the arena of the guitar. Not these days, anyway, since we found out about Weird Al Yankovic. Weird Al, you say? And rock and roll accordion? Sure. Beth Wood takes us to meet Weird Al. Strike up the band. The rock group Queen's number one hit song, Another One Bites the Dust. Superstar Billy Joel's It's Still Rock and Roll to Me. It's still Billy Joel to me. And the next, My Sharona. songs were at the top of the pop charts and all three fell victim to rock and roll parody writer and singer Weird Al Yankovic. No heavy metal, just a mean lead accordion. Weird Al's gained popularity, or perhaps notoriety, because of his hilarious rock and roll ripoffs, and of course, because of his weirdness. Do you think people need a kind of craziness? I think so. I think we live in times when you, when you need that kind of humor, because there, there isn't a lot of musical humor around that a anymore. Uh, Alan Sherman's gone, and uh, I'm hoping to fill that void that I think uh, we need right now. Off stage, Al seems pretty normal. He lives in Los Angeles and works during the week in the mailroom of a radio syndication company called Westwood One. And just like many other 21-year-old guys, he recently graduated from college with a degree in architecture. But being Weird Al in his free time fulfills a fantasy that started when he was young. When did you start the accordion? Uh, when I was seven years old, I think I began taking lessons, and I had lessons for three years. And after that, I got tired of it, and I sat it down because I was just learning polkas and, you know, mazurskas and whatever, and uh, that re really wasn't what I was into. I wanted to play rock music like the rest of my friends, and with an accordion, that wasn't really that acceptable. I, you know, I might get a job in a bar mitzvah or playing Italian weddings, but, uh, you know, not, not in a rock band like I wanted. So just within the last couple of years, I realized, well, I could, I could work something. I mean, if I'm a little weird, maybe if I do something a little strange, then an accordion would be an acceptable medium for that. So it seems to have worked out so far. His biggest hit has been Another One Rides the Bus, but Weird Al first received national exposure on the syndicated radio comedy show, Dr. Demento. This started in my bedroom with a little cassette tape recorder, and uh, several years ago I sent one of those tapes uh, to Dr. Demento, who happens to be a friend of mine from Los Angeles, who, uh, who has one of those syndicated shows that plays a series of uh, old and new comedy and novelty tunes. And uh, way back when I was in high school, he started playing my original tunes on the air. And uh, this continued for a few years. And then uh, in 1979, I recorded a parody of the next My Sharona called My Bologna. And that was a pretty large success on the show. And uh, it was eventually released on Capitol Records as a single. And how do rock stars react to Al's versions of their songs? I know a lot of artists are afraid to say, oh, it stings, because that makes them, you know, come off sounding pretty bad. But I think most of them generally are flattered with it. They, they have a pretty good sense of humor about those things, luckily. Where do you get the crazy ideas for your songs? They just come to you, or does it take a while? No, it, well, again, it varies from song to song, but usually just an idea strikes me, and I sit down and write the song, and it's, what can I say, it's just the product of a sick mind. Sick, weird, or whatever, people love his songs. His latest hit, Another One Rides the Bus, has been requested at radio stations all over the country. And we got it one Saturday afternoon, immediately threw it on the platter, and uh, it worked. I had like 50 calls immediately, you know, all through the afternoon. Hello, KRNA. Another One Rides the Bus? Sure, okay. 
Thank you. The, the phone calls are going bananas for this guy. He has made the accordion probably one of the greatest rock instruments in, in modern day music. So ladies and gentlemen, without any further ado, the sick man himself, today's stiff of the day, Weird Al Yankovic. <laughs> At an appearance in Iowa City, fans had a chance to ride the bus with Weird Al. Riding the bus down the boulevard on the place was pretty packed. I couldn't find a seat, so I had to stand with the perverts in the back. It was smelling like a locker room. There was junk all over the floor. We're already packed in like sardines. We're stopping to pick up more. Look out! And what would make a person spend money to see Weird Al Yankovic? That way, that way he says someone's different. He is totally different. Totally different. He's weird, and I like him because he's cool. I don't know how much money they pay him, but it better be a lot, because I wouldn't do the things he does for that. He's weird. Yeah. I mean, those pants he wore were so psychedelic. I was just going out of my mind. Weird Al, he's the greatest, he's the best, I can't get enough, no, can't get enough of him, he's, he's wonderful, I love him. <laughs> but does Weird Al's music really have any social significance? My music shows man's inhumanity against man and uh, in the correlation of human invention of a strange juxtaposition sometimes occurs and the, the visual tension that erupts when this kind of tension occurs is it creates a to total void which the medium can't comprehend and the, the ramifications are totally indiversified. And <laughs> meaning? No. Well, good news for rock and roll fans. Weird Al is going to record an album with such classics as Another One Rides the Bus and other soon-to-be favorites. Unforgettable. We'll be back with more rock and roll evening magazine straight ahead.